I want to first congratulate the SOA on this centennial milestone um, and a big thanks to my colleagues and the outstanding students I've had the benefit of interacting with and the graduates over the years who brought such notoriety to the SOA and to BYU. Uh, I went through a PhD program, I was six years at BYU and I expressed interest in going on a, a leave of absence, a sabbatical. And because the SOA had connections to the profession, they were able to arrange for me to go on a two-year sabbatical with one of the big four firms. I went with PricewaterhouseCoopers in the New York City area. Uh, we sold our home, uh, we moved our family. Uh, I was involved in PwC's methodology, um, their policy, and their training. Uh, it was really an outstanding and amazing opportunity. Think about putting a great career on hold for two years and going and trying something else. For me professionally, it was uh, very helpful. And for our family, it was a great adventure. When we left, we had children from ages two to 10. Um, this was an SOA approved and supported leave. It yielded just tremendous benefits for me, professionally, I, I was able to develop deep subject matter expertise in my areas of research and teaching and help me uh, in my, uh, to, be, to be able to develop curriculum, to mentor students, um, interesting research topics, and a host of other professional opportunities. The SOA has likewise supported other faculty going on professional development leaves, private industry, government settings, standard settings. I just think it's really, uh, something that the school will um, devote this sort of energy and attention to let somebody go and uh, learn and be away from the university and as they come back they're better in the classroom, better mentoring students, helping with placement of students. Just really a, a clever thing. And the really amazing thing is we've continued to go out and find talented faculty who will do all of that. They can really do it all. They're outstanding in the classroom, they mentor students, they help with placement, they're connected to the profession, and they're publishing in top-tier academic journals. And you could say that they do it all. And the interesting thing to me over the years is we've been able to hire outstanding faculty even at lower salaries comparative to other research universities. And I think um, in some ways we're asking them to do more. Come here, publish, uh, be great in the classroom, mentor students, help with placement, and uh, we're going to pay you a little bit less. Now, uh, how does that work? That's because of the aims and missions of, a, of the BYU education. It's because of the Marriott School and because of the SOA, the collegiality and the legacy and the students, the amazing students. So it's very fortunate that we've had uh, these outstanding faculty, and, and they're actually also just really great role models for our students. They're followers of Christ, they're outstanding individuals. We're just very fortunate uh, to have this legacy and these outstanding faculty. So I'll forever be grateful for BYU to the SOA, the Marriott School, uh, for a great career. I'm confident that just like we're celebrating this centennial, there are many, many years of um, great accomplishments to come for the SOA. Outstanding students, faculty, and staff and uh, it'll just continue to rise and uh, take us to new heights in the years to come.